Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna make this real quick. I just want to say thanks again for everybody showing their support and whatnot for me kind of getting motivated back into somewhat spicy stuff in general, but I haven't really been like again, I've just been eating some more sauces here and there and whatnot, but uh, but really just getting back in and motivating me to uh, make another batch of Sticky Stinger, which unlabeled, but this is my personal batch, um, personal bottles, we'll say. Uh, this particular bottle, I think, is probably from one of the first batches of Sticky Stinger I made. Um, and my personal bottles are typically just the, uh, um, like, a like couple of the first bottles and then a couple of the, the final bottles that are filled. Because uh, a lot of times the first couple bottles, when you're doing a huge pot of like 300 and some bottles worth of sauce, um, the first ones are maybe just slightly thinner, and then the very final ones are slightly thicker. Um, and I can't, I got a thick bottle over there, and I definitely can't chug that one because that one's just not going to come out. But this one, I think, I think it will. You can see the bubble moves around pretty freely in there, so. Thanks again to uh, Jason and Kim from Late for Work and Steve Gillespie from Heat My Shorts. Uh, if you haven't checked out their channels, Heat My Shorts and Late for Work, uh, go ahead and check them out. Uh, they're just pretty genuinely awesome people, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I've just been getting a lot of support from people, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll just go ahead and chug a bottle as well. <laughs> uh, if my, my right eye... Uh, starts goofing around or twitching or I uh, rub it or whatever. I got something in my eye at work. I just, you know, I was itchy, rubbed my eye, and I think there was something on my finger. But it feels like it's like underneath my eyeball. Um, I, I searched and searched in my eye to try to find it, moved my eye all around and stuff and try to find it. I can't see anything in there. I'm guessing it's like a either a small fiber, not even quite the size of a hair because we mess with some fibrous material there or it's uh or it's a small grain of something that i got stuck in my eye but it's pretty bad earlier it's not quite as bad now the odd thing is if i look like anywhere but like straight and then blinking is when it hurts so <laughs> anywhere but straight and i feel okay but and then if i look straight and i'm like blinking a bunch it kind of hurts worse but it's just more irritating than painful, really. But uh, anyways, not going to let that get me down. Go ahead and chug a bottle of sauce and uh, get on with my evening because i got some other stuff to do. It smells just slightly different. I'm, I mean, in my first batches, I did have Thai chilies in there as well. Um, but I, to simplify things, uh, I took the Thai chilies out. They didn't, I didn't think they really added to the flavor much, but... It smells pretty great, and uh, yeah, so this stuff is probably like a year old or something, but it doesn't matter. Sauce is good for quite a long time. Uh, yeah, so cheers to you guys. No further delay. Let's chug a bottle. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> Not super warm for me, but uh, decent little little tiny bit of a throat burn. Um, like I said, my tolerance is pretty low, so I wasn't sure how I was going to feel with all that, but uh, I made sure that I ate a little something, even though, again, it's not really super spicy, but some like most volume of something spicy I've consumed in a while. Other than that burger I ate, I guess, but anyways, thanks again, everybody, for showing your support. Um, yeah, and I'll be catching you guys around. Oh yeah, Jason and Kim, they offered to send me some of their leftovers of the, the super uber duper 
mega minty gum. <laughs> um, and also some of their leftover like sour ones after they do their challenge tomorrow. However, I both love mint, like really do. I, when I vaped, I used to vape some, I never really showed it on the channel or anything, but I used to vape like a while back and uh, I used to vape this stuff called Extreme Ice. It felt like my throat was like freezing over when I'd vape it. That stuff was awesome. As well as I searched for like the most minty icebreakers and gum and all that sort of stuff. I know it probably doesn't compare to how minty those grenade gum, the the grenade gum is, but I'm very curious to find out because I love mint and I love sour. So uh, if you guys don't remember a while back, I did a lemon challenge that I think uh, Jason also did it, but uh, he doesn't really like sour stuff, but uh it's like how you gotta cut a lemon into four wedges or something like that, or two lemons, and you gotta, or just a bunch of lemons, some you eat as many as you can in 60 seconds, or, or you just time yourself for two lemons, I really can't remember, but, yeah, um, I eat those pretty fast, I love lemon, and love real sour stuff, I used to eat, like, warheads when I was a kid by the handful, really love that stuff, so, he offered to send me some of that stuff, and I said, I want to do the legit challenge, and he's not going to have a full 10 of each, so um, they're not that expensive. I'm just going to I have it already pulled up on Amazon. I'm going to purchase them. Um, yeah, so those should be here next uh, Thursday or something like that, and, uh, and maybe for the weekend I'll do the challenge. I, I'll, I, I've been working four days, four 10s. Monday through Thursday, but next week is a little different because I have the 4th of July off and then I'm also taking Tuesday off, but I offered, I would said I would work Friday to make up for that, so I'll be working Friday, but typically I've been having Fridays off, so I don't know, maybe I'll do it, I don't know, it's not like a painful challenge or anything I'm going to have to worry about, so maybe I'll do it Thursday night, I don't know, we'll see, but uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, take it easy guys, rock on.